Hey, it's Christina with Tina Girl Travels. Today on my channel, we're going to check out the Wild Iris Inn in La Conner, Washington. La Conner is famous for hosting events as part of the Skagit Valley Tulip Festival held every April. We missed it this year, unfortunately, but that's okay. There's still so much to see and do in the area. Keith and I used to come here when we were first married 30 years ago, and this place hasn't changed very much at all. La Conner is located between Mount Baker and Mount Rainier, and while you're visiting, visiting the area, you'll catch glimpses of both those mountains while you're in the area. Just south of Bellingham, Washington, and west of Mount Vernon, and of course north of Seattle, sitting right on the shores of the Swinomish Channel, between Padilla Bay and Skagit Bay, you'll find the quaint little town of La Conner. This is the perfect place to run off for a romantic weekend getaway. Let's have a look at what you can expect at the Wild Iris Inn. Located at 121 Maple Avenue and a short five minute walk to town, the Wild Iris has plenty of free parking. And as you step inside this quaint little inn, you'll find the front desk where there will be a basket with envelopes. You just find your name and inside you'll find your room key and some instructions. It's super easy. Let's head on into our king room, room 208 on the second floor. Our room is pretty standard. The hotel does offer rooms with jacuzzis and fireplaces. So if you want an upgrade, be sure to book that. The king bed was pretty comfortable, but only had one bedside table. There was a clock radio that did have two USB charging ports in it. So that was good. The inn offers radiant in-floor heating, which is lovely during the cool fall and winter months. Otherwise the room did have a portable window, air conditioning and fan unit that was wasn't all that loud. So two chairs over there with some wine glasses. If you want to bring a bottle of wine, that would be nice. There's a corkscrew in the room and an ice bucket as well. And then as we go look over here at the closet, you'll see there are two nice robes in there. Not thick plush robes, but nice robes anyways. As we came into the room, the TV was on with just some nice soundscapes music playing. I love it when hotels do that. There was also a DVD player and downstairs in the foyer, you'll find a pretty decent collection of movies that you can borrow. We did that, we watched a movie and they also had games that you can borrow. The remote control situation was a little confusing, but we figured it out. Let's step into that bathroom and have a look. It's a little dated and there's a lot of wear on this cabinet. I really believe that this inn should maybe take note of that and fix that up a little bit. It wouldn't take too much. The bathroom is nice and clean though. In the cabinet, you'll find a blow dryer and the usuals on the counter, makeup wipes, soap and lotion. There's also a magnifying mirror. I always love it when hotels offer one of those and a pretty standard tub shower combination. Not a bad shower head. We always had hot water for our showers and this inn offers complimentary Beekman products, conditioner, shampoo, and body wash, as well as that lotion. The security for this hotel is a little old school. So there are three locks on this door and you do actually get an actual key um, to use to get in and out of your room. So let's head on downstairs and have a look at the breakfast area. So there isn't an elevator to reach the second floor. You gotta keep that in mind if you have mobility issues. This is the dining room and breakfast is included with your stay, which is so lovely. They offered coffee and tea as well as juice, milk, oat milk and water. They had lovely cut up fruit and freshly baked breads. Uh, there was also eggs and yogurt with some toppings available. They also offered a hot breakfast item. The first morning we had the option of the frittata or a French toast, which was more like a piece of cake. It was really sweet. And the second morning they only offered the frittata with hollandaise sauce, but it was pretty darn good. The walk into town is easy. It's just a five minute stroll. It's a great place to spend the day checking out the shops, the cafes, galleries, and restaurants. You'll find La Conner to have a rich history dating back to the mid 1800s. I'll add a link below to a printable walking tour of La Conner's historic landmarks. The entire area is pretty fantastic. You can drive out to Anacortes, which is also a lovely place to spend the day. We stumbled across a farmer's market there on Saturday morning morning, take a drive out to Deception Pass. It's absolutely stunning. You can take a ferry to Vancouver Island through the San Juan Islands or a ferry across to Port Townsend, which is where we spent our honeymoon. It's such a beautiful place to spend a few days exploring. I hope you enjoyed my tour of the Wild Iris Inn. Be sure to give my video a thumbs up. Tell me where you're watching from in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on my upcoming videos. I'll see you again soon on Tina Girl Travels.